What's going on guys? This is James Watson Jr. and this is Call of Duty Black Ops TDM on launch. Uh, what I want to talk about in this commentary is a continuation of the last one, the whole progression and digression of Call of Duty. And not necessarily all the Call of Duties, or not, it's more specifically older Call of Duties. And when I say older Call of Duties, I mean like this one here, Black Ops. Um, that I can remember when I was first playing Black Ops, not long after it came out, and all through Modern Warfare 3 when I wasn't playing that and I was playing Black Ops instead, I really don't remember the spawns being so fucked up, basically. That's the easiest way to say it. Because in one of my previous videos on the Nuketown beatdown, I was talking about how the spawns were wonky. And it's it seems like it's, I don't know, I guess maybe because the game is older and everything, there's not so much attention paid to it by the developers. I mean, don't get me wrong, they made a good game, and because honestly, to the truth, Black Ops 1 will be one of my favorite Call of Duties for all the time. And it's not just the reason that that's the first Call of Duty that I actually played, and that's where I basically got my start on Call of Duty, but also because just the way the game plays in general, the dynamics of it and everything, the way, I don't know, it's just, the it's an all-around good game in my opinion. There's a lot of people that it would disagree with me, yes, because there's a lot of people that would say, oh, you know, World at War, or Modern Warfare 2, or MW3, Black Ops 2, Ghosts, whatever. There's a lot of people that would say those were the best Call of Duties ever, and this and that. And I can't really comment on the Black Ops 2, I mean, not Black Ops 2, but World at War and MW2 because I never really played those. I mean, I've never played World at War. I did play it, but I never played it multiplayer because I didn't have internet connection at the time and all that. I was just, I, I'd do campaign and offline stuff, whatever, you know. I never really actually got a chance to play online. And on Modern Warfare 2, I played online a little bit with it, but it wasn't, I don't know, maybe it took a Treyarch game to get me interested in Call of Duty. I don't know. I just didn't like the way Modern Warfare 2 played online. I guess since I wasn't real familiar with, you know, first-person shooters and stuff like that, then maybe that's why I didn't care for Modern Warfare 2. And so I never really played that online either. I played a couple games here and there, and other than that, I was like, you know, I don't really care for it, so why not play it? And so... And the way I mean digression of Call of Duty, specifically to older games, is because, like like I said, maybe because it's an older game, there's not as much attention paid to it by the developers and so forth. Not as much upkeep or, you know, maintenance done to it. Because it seems like Call of Duty Black Ops has actually gotten worse. Not as in the gameplay and how things work. Or not, you know, not how the game plays itself and the dynamics of the game, but it's, like I said, the spawn systems. The spawns are fucking weird as shit now. I mean, every time I've played Black Ops 2 and on Ghosts, basically, and actually not so much Ghosts because the spawns are kind of fucked up on Ghosts too. But, like, on Black Ops 2, when you're sitting there, like, if I'm rushing... And I haul ass across the map, and I don't see a single person from the enemy team at all. The whole time I'm running across that map, I get to the, and I actually make it to the other side of the map to the enemy spawn. Then, as soon as somebody dies on their team, more than likely, the spawn is going to swap, and therefore, I won't be in the enemy spawn anymore. I'll be in my own home spawn, and the other team the opposing team will be spawning on the opposite side of the map now or in a different spawn you know but here lately it seems like 
I can run into the enemy spawn basically and be sitting there chilling the fuck out and next thing you know one of the opposing team members is gonna spawn like right in front of me like actually on Nuketown Beatdown when me and Shanda were playing that game she was on the back side of the map on Nuketown and the enemy spawned and of course as she's sitting there chilling a guy ends up spawning right in front of her. I mean, literally, right in front of her. All she had to do is just push the fire button and he was dead as soon as he spawned. I mean, it was a true spawn trapping. <clears throat> so, I mean, in my opinion, that's what I'm saying when I say the digression of Call of Duties. And it's the older ones, which is kind of strange that the spawns are so fucked up right now on Ghost, considering it's such a new game and the first DLC hasn't even come out. And the spawns are already fucked up, which it's might be because of the fact that the game has just recently come out and they haven't worked out the spawn system yet. But that doesn't make any sense for the older ones because they've gotten the spawn systems down and got them working good. And then now all of a sudden, since multiple other games have come out over the years, the spawns just mysteriously go wonky, go fucking crazy and do whatever they want to do and people are spawning on top of the opposing team and shit like that. I mean, it doesn't make any sense and that's what I mean when I say the digression of Call of Duty. And, I don't know, it's just weird. You'd think that, because I mean, like I said, I'm not a gaming person as in I know the whole dynamics of how the game's programmed to work and this and that and I don't keep up with all the patches and all this and that because that's just... I don't know. I, I'm not down with trying to keep up with game programming and coding and all that. And so maybe, you know, eventually, I guess you could say the code decomposes or, you know, whatever. And that's what happened is the code decomposed for the spawn system or something. I don't know. And it ended up basically making it to where the spawns get fucked up so easily like they do. I don't know. But anyways, guys, that is this commentary. As you can see, I got my little one and a half almost on my ratio. But I really hope you guys, you, you guys. I'm sitting here, Sandra just got back from the store, and she handed me a bag of peanut M&Ms and a 44-ounce Pepsi. So uh, I'm kind of tongue-tied right now. I want to eat some of these M&Ms. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. And if so, don't forget to leave me a like and a favorite down below. Also, drop me a comment. Give me some feedback about the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, Hit that subscribe button. takes just a couple seconds, and it's very much appreciated. Instagram and Twitter, follow me on those. Links will be in the description like always. And other than that, have a good